420 somewhere. Dad's home. My air conditioner came in. I took it apart already. I was so excited. I got ahead of myself. The reason I installed this air conditioner into my van. It's also the quietest air conditioner I could find for a small air conditioner. They took a mini split design and they made a window AC out of it. So the way I see it, I installed the quietest, most efficient air conditioner that I could install in a van. The sheriff is out there in Malibu ticketing like crazy. People are always stopping. You can't stop there. It's for emergency access for the lifeguards. So you get a ticket. If you stop there, you get a ticket real quick. The reason I got a ticket, the way I put the plate on the back of the air conditioner, I want to thank the cop. I looked up the law, the vehicle code 5201, I think it was. I'm in compliance. It wasn't crooked. It wasn't about to fall off. I'm just going to move the plate because I live out there on the beach and I just don't want them to mess with me. I mounted it where you see it now outside of the air conditioner with the frame of the plate inside, the frame inside of a frame made this powerful appearance. It just stood out. It's so much better now. Every week, somebody would comment about my air conditioner and now nobody says anything. Uh, this is, seems to be about as much a part as I am going to be able to get it. Space right here. That should fit in the door perfectly because it has this space right here. It's really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it's been what 10 minutes I've already got this thing all apart and I think I got a plan so my plan is to cut out this whole space here there's solid lines here that I can't really mess to with too much everything else is movable this is what's preventing me from really taking this thing apart this is gonna be stressful this might be the hardest thing that I do to this van your brother was like okay I got some sweet potatoes for you guys but Uncle Chuck wanted fettuccine alfredo with crab and whatever in it. He goes, "Ooh, that sounds really good." And then he goes, "Of course." And then wait, and then he and Casey are both. I said, "Well, I can make you the sweet potatoes." He says, "No way, no." They wanted whatever, but you know, he says, "No, it's a good cheat day." This thing has so you can close the window down on it. This is the most efficient window AC I could find. That's why I got it. It's a little more powerful than what most people that do this use. They usually go 5,000 BTU, Frigidaire. This is an 8,000 BTU, my idea. I'm a little nervous about this. When I did the sunroof, I cut the hole with a jigsaw. My dad thinks I should try the angle grinder to cut this hole. It's been a couple days since I've been on this. Rust-Oleum spray for heavy rust. Spray a little in here, and I was using this foam brush to dab it along where the metal was exposed from the cutting. I didn't do that on camera because it was Father's Day. I had a lot to do. I was gonna have to cut the hole bigger. If there's any way possible that I can do this without cutting the hole bigger, right about the height of my uh, hole. Oh, can I just say this thing isn't light? I think it's like 40 pounds. Also, I took this little wheel all around here. It was all jagged and sharp and really easy to cut yourself on this. I have this kind of stuff that I'm gonna put like this. Still trying to work out how this is gonna go in. If you mount it in there, aren't the holes gonna be a little bit Yeah, I'm so worried after taking this all apart. Like, am I gonna be able to get it back together? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Especially after a couple days going by of not really looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh. It's best to take some close pictures before you do. She's pissed at me today. I don't get it. She has to like do everything with an attitude, like. <laughs> slam things around it doesn't make any sense though like why does she think that people are supposed to just stop what they're doing and listen to her anytime she wants to talk yeah. she has a lot to say every day like we wouldn't get anything done and it completely distracts from your focus yeah. because she even wants to stop you from thinking about what you're thinking about and mm -hmm. think about what she wants you to think about right. how am i gonna cut this you are so heavy i think you cut it with that same thing you cut that hole with. 
two and a half inches. Cut these down to two and a half inches. Yeah. Thanking me for the last two days. It's like, oh, that's so great what you did yeah. cooking dinner. Now I just wake up and she's pissed off at me. Yeah. It's just like, what? Like, just like that in an instant? Like, I'm the worst person in the world? You do the same thing David does. Oh, I'm back. It's feeling good today, actually. I'm over here painting everything. Once I have the, the paint all done, I can start screwing in the rest. Very excited, I'm gonna plug this in right now, see if it works. It's working amazing, the battery died on the camera, but this thing is working really good. Super cold. Quiet. Super quiet. Yeah. Quietest window AC I've ever had or heard of, ever. Exciting, this is probably the most exciting part of the yeah. build because how comfortable can you be without air conditioning? <laughs> Off, all over my legs, I still feel mosquitoes all over my leg. Dude, I see, I just saw the mosquitoes on my legs. What is going on? Amazing. Got the AC in. It's been a while. I went and ate, I was on the phone. A friend of mine was venting about his life. Well, the thing, is it even still cooling? So it must be 70 degrees in there now. Hear how quiet it is? It's like turned off and it's like barely making any noise. 62 degrees. It's still running, it's freezing. Super quiet. It went from 81 degrees to 62 degrees. The water's dripping out too. It's not even getting on the van, it's just dripping out. It's sloped upward right now and it's still dripping out the back. I have an air conditioner in a van. It's the middle of the day and we're gonna go test out the air conditioner. Uh, cord out of the way. Oh, you know what? I don't know where the remote for this thing is. We're on. Do you hear that weird noise that it makes when it first turns on? 85 sharp rocks. That's a remote. I wonder if there's any batteries. I think I see a pull tab on the battery. You don't feel a lot of airflow right in the middle. Was gonna use the license plate holder. Mount it right here the screws line up with the rails for the ac i wonder if it works from outside the car nope oh dude it's already dripping condensation that was fast it says 83.4 already it's only been like two minutes one of the cool thing uh, about this when i turn it on see this open up i was gonna get this frigid air AC that was like 450 watts and I never really did the math on this thing I just got it because I liked it so much twice the wattage of the AC I was going to get but it's also 30% more efficient despite it being a more powerful AC as long as my inverter can handle turning this thing on and off I'm going to be in much better shape because in the long run it's going to take less electricity to cool the van and as you can see it's really not that big anyway it's been on for like not even 10 minutes, 83 degrees. And you know what's crazy, as I don't even have insulation yet, there's like no vibrations, even though this thing's all touching everywhere. This is a much smaller hole than I would have had to make if I get the smaller 5,000 BTU ACs because of this special air conditioner with this gap right here for the window to come down. It's been an hour and a half that this thing's been running. Let's see what we got going on. 76 degrees 38 percent humidity middle of the day too it's like well no it's four o'clock it's not the hottest day 84 degrees it just got from the hardware store great to put on the back because i don't want you know how people push on the back of the air conditioner and they make it all you run your fingers by this it'll just screw the whole thing up this is what i'm going to mount the license plate to 75 degrees I'm fairly certain that license plate being that close to the condenser is going to affect the efficiency of that thing. Why say that though? Like we've already talked about it. Well, I didn't see it installed before, but now I see it installed. I, I agree with my original statement. Do you want to just keep reminding me that so that if that happens, you can say that I told I you so? so. <laughs> like, I don't understand what the point is. What do you think about dinner? I don't know. I was kind of thinking about Jersey Mike's. Phew. And that water comes pouring out. The only thing I gotta do now, fill in this little space that's in, in between here. Hi, Maria. Hi. <laughs> For the light to go over the license plate. The metal's a little scratched up. I'm wet sanding it. Grit of the sandpaper is how rough it is. I need to 
get down to 2000, 1500. I'm gonna wet sand with this, and then I'm gonna wet sand with the 2000 over to the polishing wheel after 1500. This light's gonna go up in it. Wipe this with alcohol. There it goes. Let's see how much battery this uh, air conditioner ends up using. I'm already at 99.7. really want to wash this thing, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll keep the AC running, I guess. What time of the day? It's 2.17. We're going to see how long my air conditioner can run. This is so comfy, it's hard to not hang out in the van. How do you survive without air conditioning? I remember when I was a kid, a lot of people didn't have air conditioning. Unless you live somewhere where you don't really need it. Even with all my insulation. Sometimes it gets so hot in here and it's not even that hot of a day. Vent fans, yeah. I don't have vent fans yet. I'm gonna, I got a whole thing to develop back here. Oh, but that AC though. It's 320. I got 93.1 left on the battery. I don't know, you probably can't see that. To go from 100, 93% in the last hour and it's 68 degrees in here. And the air conditioner has not turned off. It's been cranking the whole time. 7% in an hour, battery, is it 70, 90%? Oh yeah, and the TV's been on the whole time. Router, propane detector, AC on for two hours, keeping it nice in here, and I use 10% of the battery. There's a big debate, AC versus DC air conditioning. One thing that I do wanna mention on that, and I don't know if this is for sure or not, but Nomadic Cooling says that their air conditioner can run off the car battery. This is a roof mounted AC. I did not want to go with a roof mounted AC because it uh, changes your aerodynamics so you, you'll lose a couple miles per gallon of gas possibly. I want to be able to fit into a drive through if I want to go through a drive through I don't want to make my van any taller than it already is and I want to keep the van on the outside looking as stock as possible from as many angles as possible. I look like any other white pro master that's out there. There's just so many things to do on the outside of a van that I can't do because then when I'm driving down the street, it's like, oh, that's that van. Like right now I'm that van from the rear because people see the air conditioner. I have an idea on how to cover it up. So there's gonna be a part two to this video, how to hide that air conditioner. DC air conditioners, Arctic Breeze, Cruise and Comfort, they're like four grand. My air conditioner was $400. I didn't wanna pay 10 times more for an air conditioner. It would be really cool to have a DC air conditioner because you don't have to turn on the power inverter. Air conditioner comes on maybe like an hour a day or a couple hours a day. More hours a day if I have a big enough battery bank. I have to leave my inverter on. Even when nothing's on, it just, it's drawing current. But is it worth over $3,000 more to be able to not have your inverter on? Besides the 10 times the cost, they're also really loud. This stuff that I'm giving away, the Dynamat cup, the gloves from the last video, I'm gonna do a live stream. Comment on this video. I wanna get the stuff. When's a good time for all of you to do this live stream? I'll take all the names of the people that show up to the live stream. I'll pay to have the items shipped out to wherever you are. The Pneumatic Cooling claims, this is a claim, I don't know if it's true, you can run their air conditioner off the car battery while you're driving. That is not true with my system right now. If it's hot enough outside that I even want to run this air conditioner while I'm driving, the car air conditioner and this rear one, hot days, I don't get a lot of charge out of the car's alternator. The DC air conditioner, you don't even need to have a battery system to run it. That's pretty awesome. Like if you're a passenger van and you want that. I contacted Nomadic Cooling to do a video with them comparing how cold their system gets and how cold my system gets and the energy draw. See like what the advantages are of the DC air conditioner. It would have really helped promote their system. So I was shocked that they didn't want to do this video. I would have gone all the way out to Arizona. This is cool. I'm excited about doing this. I have you guys checking it out. See you on the next one. Oh, what's the next one going to be? Um, insulation. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Also, there's a rooftop swamp cooler that you can get. There's um, rooftop air conditioners that are AC. They're not all 12 volt DC. There's also AC.